I think it's the same you need off the pitch. Uh, I think you need to you need to lead by example, pretty much all the time, as and when you can. Um, I think you need to, to try and organise people on the pitch, on and off the pitch. I think mis misconception about football is you need to shout and scream and do all this to the fans and stuff like that, but it's not that. It's about giving the right information at the right time and about being someone that, you know, if, if the chips are down or if things are going wrong, that people can look to for a little bit of info or a little bit of guidance. And um, yeah, I think that's probably the main qualities. Off the pitch, obviously, it changes a little bit. I think you need a few more things off the pitch, a bit of compassion. Um, I think you need a bit of empathy as well. You need, you know, you need people to come to you when things they have, when they have issues. And likewise, when things are going well as well, you need to make sure they continue in that form. So you, you need to have a bit of everything, and you, you need to also allow other people to to lead. You need to know when to speak and when not to, and when to listen. You need to be a good listener, I think. I think leadership in any walk of life is the same. I think it's all about people, whether it's a business, whether it's a sports team, uh, whether it's you know a school, whatever, whatever you're at, whether it's your, with your group of mates. I think you need to have the same qualities if you're looked upon as a leader. Um, I think it's important to trust people and to, to get trust, to gain trust, to gain respect. And I think you do that by being honest. Um, and I think also you need to be able to to delegate well because you can't do everything. You need to make sure you, you know your strengths and you know your weaknesses and you know the same about your team and the people you work with. So it's the same in business as it is in sport. It's about making sure you get the best out of people. That's what it's all about. It's about understanding character and personality and what what will enable you to get the best out of them. Obviously some people respond to, to brutal honesty, some won't, so you need to know which people you can obviously direct that to, but I think most of the time it's about understanding personality and character and, and making sure you understand that and you know what makes them tick. To have good leaders I think it's hugely important. I think if you look at the most successful companies in the world, most successful sports teams, you've got a strong leader who's got a strong ethos, I guess a strong philosophy on what they want to do, whether it's business or sport, I think it's massively important. But I think the more leaders you've got in any business, you know, obviously it'll be the chief executive of, of a business or the football manager or whatever in a sport, but um, I think it's, you've got as many leaders as possible in the building that people can look to and do things the right way uh, and have got the right personality and the right character traits, then I think the business is going to be a success.